yesterday. 728, time to go inside the numbers to bring you the news of the day, Kelly Jackson. Okay. This is the George Costanza <laughs> theory right here. Okay. According to Bloomberg, the number of Americans Ooh. aged 25 to 35 <laughs> who have moved over the past year. Okay? Okay. 20 to 35-year-olds who have moved in the last year, 20%. Now, to put that into perspective, that's a lot lower than past generations. In 2000, 26% of those age groups have moved in the last year. And in 1990, it was 27% of them moved. So younger people not moving as frequently as they used to in past generations. Kind of trying to stay put. Yes. What is wrong with Harrison Ford? Oh my, why does he keep flying? He crashed his plane and was able to walk away. And then yesterday, he was supposed to land on runway 20 L. However, he did not. Instead, he landed on the taxiway and flew over American Airlines flight 1456 and was alleged to have said, What's the, Was that airliner meant to be underneath me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that could have been a disaster. Yes, it was. Um, for the past 26 years, White Castle, believe it or not, is becoming a Valentine's Day tradition. For one <laughs> night, Valentine's Day, White Castle is turning into a fine dining establishment. What, so they sell sliders by candlelight? I guess people go there and have their Valentine's Day dinner at White Castle. That's yes. an interesting option. Uh, University of Connecticut women's basketball team extended its uh, winning streak to 100 games with its victory over South Carolina on Monday. And finally, according to Sports Illustrated, mm -hmm. since I was reading the articles, oh boy. not looking at the pictures, uh -huh. a federal judge has refused to throw out the U.S. government's $100 million lawsuit against Lance Armstrong, meaning that the former cyclist will be going to court. Armstrong is being sued under the False Claims Act over his use of performance-enhancing drugs, which the government claims violated his contract with his sponsor, the U.S. Postal Service. Oh, ooh. Yes. You're not messing around. $100 million lawsuit against Lance Armstrong is going to court. I didn't even know he had a, a deal with them. Yeah, he, well, that was his, it was a uh, U.S. Postal his, Service. That was, was his sponsor. That was his the, big sponsor. Two of the France. Yeah, so there wow. you go. Wow. Those are the numbers inside the news. Big 550, KTRS.